Say good morning, Jizuma. Jizuma, say good morning. Little bug. Say hello. Look at the little face. Say hello. No. She's not going to say hello. Good morning. Good morning. That's a picture. It's a weird one. Ooh. That's by an artist called Kathy Olivias. I think that's right. Yeah, Kathy Olivias. Um, she's Canadian, I think, and um, she does pictures that they like fallen children and stuff. They're basically just like really depressed looking kids wearing gas masks and stuff. I think she's a cool artist. That is a signed and numbered print. So not an original, but a signed print, which is pretty cool. And X bought me that for Christmas one year. We've been going out for two weeks. I bought them coasters. Anyways, I smell really nice today. I'm wearing Angel Nova, the new one in the red bottle. Very nice, very nice, smells lovely. And I've still got a shit tip behind me to sort out, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm writing my list of stuff to do for today. So post pickup meds, open advent calendars, uh, 15 listings. I normally do 10 listings a day, but I realised that in December there's going to be a big gap where I'm not doing auctions, like over Christmas. So I'm going to use up some of my auctions, like a bit earlier. So 15 auctions, and they're all going to be silver bits as well. By the way, um, just a um, note to anyone and everyone who watches like you know my my little sparkly bits videos and stuff and, and wants to message me about anything on there um so that you know the things that i show in these videos probably won't be listed for a long time so um although i it's cool that you go looking through my shop and you might find something else you like um don't expect to find them on there because i won't have listed them like that quick normally I mean, I listed a couple of the silver necklaces yesterday. But um, if there's anything you want, message me. My details are below this video in the description. Cool. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, it's a heck of a lot of sorting, but that's going to be this afternoon. Sort. Stuff. Is there anything else I've got to do today, then? Just gotta go for a mooch in town. And I have got 15, 16, 17, 18 parcels to go through. One private, 15 uh, eBay and two Etsy. So that's cool. And it's eBay payday today. Which means I've got to transfer 400 pounds or pay 400 pounds off of my PayPal working capital because they're like you haven't made your minimum payment because you're now on managed payments and you didn't seem to be giving us any money anymore it's like okay you can have 400 pound then you buggers so yeah I'm gonna do that later today actually no it's scheduled to happen tomorrow because I've set up a thing it's just fascinating isn't it yeah anyways I'll show you in a sec what I've sold and what's going on today and and Okay then, stuff what has sold. Let's go from the bottom. A uh, little job lot of crucifixes and um, religious type charms, Lord's things. Um, just little random bits that have come out of job lots. People like them. Um, this went at auction, £15.49. That's alright, isn't it? 
and then we've got a sterling silver one this is an our lady our lady bernadette sterling silver charm that went for 18 pounds uh abalone mother of pearl inlay with the what would that be oh it's an inlaid in enamel on it's not silver is it alpaca it might be stamped alpaca in there but it's um you know one of those mexican ones that sold for 11 pounds and 19 pence a little job lots of random pendants so good for crafters and stuff went for 11 pounds i mean that's a bargain really because all they need to do is put like a nice chain on them and they've got themselves you know a bunch of sellable stuff so that's cool cool for them cool for me as well obviously um lovely pier beck style art deco style brooch went for 15.99 an anchor hocking fire king trio uh, went for six ninety nine plus postage. All of this plus postage. Everything plus postage. I love this colour. I love this orange luster. My sister thinks it's awful, but she only likes you know the pink stuff with the gold rim and everything. But I love gaudy stuff like this. I think it's fab. And orange. I mean, like, what's not to love about orange two set? You know, what coffee set really? Um, this Layla Eve little charm necklace it's got amethyst and rose quartz in there that's quite pretty uh that went for 9.99 a thomas mart now thomas mart normally does like you know the butterfly wing stuff um on sterling silver this isn't sterling and it's not a butterfly wing but it is a little like is that cornflower maybe yeah cornflowers and um, that went for eight pounds so not as collectible obviously as this other stuff Two babacum, babacum pottery vases, little squat vases, went for $24.99. This um, gold tone, like Albert T bar bracelet and necklace set, uh, went for auction, went up to £13.50. They're pretty much spanking, like brand spanking new them, there's no tarnish on them whatsoever, so that's cool. A job lot of how many pairs? 10 pairs of sterling silver earrings. A couple of nice pairs of hoops in there as well. Went for £15. This lovely signed, oops, pewter tawny owl brooch. Isn't he handsome? Went for £16.79. Uh, this big tick fossil watch went for £11. And then two really nice sales ended up last night. Oh, I'll show you my Etsy ones. Um, a little sterling silver and topaz. Tested that one. It's topaz. Um, necklace. And then two sterling silver Celtic style brooches. That one's got really nice amber in it. And that one's got a bit of uh, green agate in it. Um, but yeah, my two nice Etsy sales ended last night. So the little jade and 14 karat gold, is it? Yeah, 14 karat gold. Um, little charm that went for $62.99 and then this nice gold chain went for £111 so chuffed with them I've now got to package all of that up I'm running out of bubble wrap order bubble wrap um, yeah I've got a, the fun of packaging all of this stuff up and then I shall leave it outside of the back because things are getting in the way in here. So, fun, fun, fun. to head out 
There's my taxi to take me into town. It's can't be fucked walking and it's too freezing cold. So I'm just gonna pop these in box. I'll see you in town anyway. <sighs> well, here we are in town. They put up the Christmas tree. I'm not sure if there's any actual decorations on it. Uh, they normally have like um, a little sort of street market down here, down this bit, and then they'll have carol singers and uh, they'll turn on the lights and stuff like that. Um, and it's an okay night. I wouldn't say it's a, you know, rip roaring evening, but it's nice enough. But guessing that's not happening this year. Oh, at least they have put some lights on it. So there we go. It's a tree. Minimal effort, that's pretend. Oh well, right. Post office and then charity shops, yay. <laughs> That was Santa, sort of doing House of the Rising Sun, not sure. <sighs> Everything closing down or closed in pretend. There'll be nothing left here soon. Except cherry shops, yay! <coughs> right, off to Bernardo's and then do the rest. I'm going around town a different way today because I'm crazy like that. I just tried to go in Poundland but there was far too many people and I didn't like it. No. <sighs> Let's go see what Bernardo's have got then. Right, I bought some stuff. I haven't bought a toaster. There's something else in this. Bloody hell, all right, placebo. And a bunch of other stuff. I'll show you in a bit. Oh man, I am pooped. And I still gotta do listings and the other fun stuff. Oh, I need a coffee. <sighs> Mummy, come here. Back home now. Yes, what have you got now? Well, I know how much you wanted a new toaster. You really oh, wanted it? It's not a toaster. I didn't get you a toaster. Oh. Sorry. That's all right. I did get a Dyson, Ooh, though. Wow. How's that? Whoa. Come here. A new toy! Ah! So with all the fittings with as all well. the bits. And literally they just pack tested it. Wow. So brilliant. Happy Christmas. Yay! <laughs> I know we don't need another one, but it's I, an upstairs one. It was 20 quid. Well, 20 quid to me. 20 quid to you. To Dyson. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's got all the bits yeah. and things. Wow. And also handy for picking up my beads in the corners and stuff as yeah, well, isn't it? Yeah. Well so, done. Well done. That's all right, isn't it? Well done. There it is. So okay. We have so many gadgets in this house. It's just overflowing. Gadgets. Time for coffee now. Right, while I'm sitting here with a coffee, I'm going to open ca advent calendar number one, which is a Lisa one. That's German low carb company. Oh, yeah. So, what have we got in door number one? Okay. We have got low carb Tassen Kuchen. Tassen Kuchen. Oh, Tassen Kuchen. Tassen Kuchen. Tasse Huchen. Mm. Apfel Zimt, apple cinnamon. Ooh, oh, it's an apple cinnamon mug cake. Nice. Oh, I might just have that for lunch. It'd be, would it be bad to have cake for lunch? I 
can have cake for lunch. It's ready in two and a half minutes. Um, and it contains roughly about 7.5 grams of carbs, which will be quite high for lunch, but it's a cake. And sorry, that's it. I might just have that for lunch. Mm -hmm. Very unflattering, weird kind of angle we're going for. That's okay. It's very Hitchcocky and very a uh, bit Tim Burton-esque playing with perspective anyway stuff I bought today because you don't need to know about these things do you um, a little paperweight for £1.50 it's not um, a magnificent one but it is still you know a handmade jobby it's got the, the dip in it where it's been um, it's alright it's pretty enough £1.50 a necklace which I think is Coro 1960s, 70s with these like turquoise stones that was two pounds that's quite a nice one yeah that's nice some shirts this is artistry in motion at New York I know it's a perfect time to be buying Hawaiian shirts but I reckon when the boys are back on their stag dues, they're going to go for it. So we've got that, which is rather fabulous. And then this one, which is True Face. With big old red flowers on them. So some crazy shirts. A nice red waistcoat. These are all £2 each. Red waistcoat for someone that wants to dress up as an elf. I don't know. I should really get that listed, shouldn't I? I should, like, go and list that right now, shouldn't I? Can we see that happening? This was a pound. This is Jerry Weber, but it's a purple sort of tea dress thing. Button front one, kind of 90s looking. I don't know what fabric it is. Um, it feels weird. Almost like a taffeta. It's acetate. Lovely. 100% pure acetate. A fat face kind of tunicky top thing in this nice tartan. I bought it because I thought mum might want it, but she doesn't. Oh, and it's missing a button. Uh, they can have it back. I'll just donate it straight back. There's no, no point even getting a refund on it. They can just have it back and give it to Ragman. And then this fabulous thing, this I really like, as in, it's awful, I like it. This cost me £3.50, this crazy shirt, but is that right? What's the neck doing? The neck is like some awful roll neck thing, but yeah, very 80s, very maybe even early 90s, fresh prints kind of vibes. Um, MK exclusive. It's probably like a foreign brand, you know, like a European brand. And it is made from 100% silk. Awesome. Azami, do not get your claws in this, you little bugger. I see you looking already. Oh, she's being a swine at the moment. I mean, she's gorgeous and adorable. But she is in everything, on everything, sniffing everything, up the tree. Pushing things off the tree, in the fridge. She's a bugger. I got a box for a pound. So, no key and it's got like some damage to it. So, damage across there and damage across the bottom. But it's a nice wooden inlay box. Looks like a little treasure chest, you know? For a pound, it was nice. For a box of random earrings for three pounds, I mainly bought it because it says um, Kirk's Folly on the top, and I've got a Kirk's Folly pendant that I can put in this and sell it together. Just increases the value of it slightly. And then there's a bunch of earrings inside. They're all in pairs. I think 
think this pair may be silver, but I couldn't really see any markings. But it's like two leaves with like an enamel. I think it's enamel. No, it's glass. It's like dichroic glass. Little insets in them. Um, and then some like dangly heart ones. I don't think these are silver because I can see a little bit of copper coming through and stuff. I think. I'll test them anyway. But like some dangly hearts. And there's some dangly flowery pearly ones. Some Shambhala type ones. And I'll test these for silver as well. You never know. But some more heart ones. Um, but yeah, just some some random earrings, some vintage enamel ones. I think there's about seven pairs in there in total. But yeah, it was mainly for the box and for that pair of earrings. It's okay. This is what I do. I did buy a ring which isn't silver and they still wanted three quid for it and I still paid three quid for it. Because I'm silly like that. At least I don't think it's silver. I couldn't see any marks. But it is adorably cute. Yeah, there's definitely no marks in there. Nothing that says silver anyway. But super cute. Can you see that properly? Little turtle with what looks like, like blue opal in there. Don't know if you can see that. No, you can't see it properly, but it is really cute anyway. So, I, I don't think I'll get much. I mean, I'm not going to get like a huge return on it. It's not worth loads. It's not silver or anything. But I just have this thing where like, I can't leave it though. Like, I can't though, because I've got, I've got to buy it. It's nice. I've got to have it. Because I'm weird. Oh. Um, I bought another little jewellery box. This was a pound. Again, I don't think it's silver. I see some that looks like copper there. But it's been handmade and welded together. So I think it might be, you know, say like African, Moroccan, maybe. But I just thought that was nice and unusual little trinket box. I've got a barrel drinking thing, Braha, B-R-A-H-E-R. -E so like a drinking barrel with copper things around it. It is wood, heavily varnished. This is £2.50 and I guess like these bits are just plastic. I can't smell anything in there and I personally, though I think it's decorative anyway because there's no way that that is waterproof. I can see light through it, you know? There's no way that you would put your drinks in there. So it's it's decorative, unless you wanted it to all come out the sides. But, you know, for a cool bit of barware, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? And it's got nice details on it with the copper going around it in the rivet sun. And then this is broken, but I still bought it because that's what I do. But this cost two pounds and like a lucky horseshoe thing with all fire guards on it it's broken because this bit has come off the top and it's got to be screwed back in and that's the right palaver in it but i can do that but yeah it's got some nice like coal claws and brush and sweeping things in a pokey stick but yeah that cost two quid and it's got a patent number on it as well. Oh, Ianthi, Ianthi, that's good. I sold a, a wine holder of theirs. It was silver plated. Oh, that's cool. This has just gone up in value. <laughs> well, it'll go up even more when I fix it. So that's my haul for today. I am going to now have some lunch. I'm not having that mug cake. I'm going to treat myself to that later tonight. Um, so I'm going to have some lunch and then I'm going to do 15 listings because if I don't do them now, then like I won't want to do them later, that's for sure. And then I'm going to get a crack in and sort out 
all of this shiz in this front room. And then tomorrow, I'll probably be rearranging shelves. But for today, it's sorting out this random things and maybe even what's in the drawers there. Hmm. We've been having fun. I took stuff off the door and then the door fell off. <laughs> oh my God. Right, next job, because I'm still surrounded by a load of crap. So I, I figure I'd just like surround myself by it with some more crap by um, emptying these drawers and seeing what I want to keep and what I want to throw, which is actually a good idea because, you know, it means like I don't have any way to put my stationary now that I used to keep beside me um because the drinks cabinet is now there and the shelves that I was using to put all my stationery on is now housing um handbags and things over there and shoes and stuff so I need somewhere to put stationery and this is the logical place so I need to empty it out of all of the random shit that seriously like I just don't I don't you know it's empty do I need any bright yellow paint no do I need a mould for making resin buttons? No, because there's enough plastic in the world. Or a mould for making a resin plastic bracelet? No. Do I need a letter from EE? E. No. A lanyard from Bridgend College? No. Stop keeping all of this stuff. Oh, how is that? I'll keep that. Um, some self-seal colorant in, like, why have I got this stuff? Metal acrylic paint and Gilda's paste wax for adding patina. Ooh, it adds patina to things. No, for God's sakes, stop it. I don't need this shiz, do I? Oh, it's a letter from my brother there bin <laughs> anyways i mean look at it look i've just got too much stuff stuff everywhere right i'll get back to you in a bit and i'll show you how far i've done if i uh, not just killed everyone oh man it's just all rubbish and yeah not today satan and i mean that's not rubbish that's that's my stuff and Oh, but at least, like, things are clear. I've got, like, well, that sort of random odds and sods. You've got to have an odds and sods drawer, haven't you? And then, look at the amount of pens I've got. It's ridiculous and glitter and sticky things. And then this is all packaging type stuff. See-through bags, envelopes, nice packaging things and my stickers and business cards and stuff. This will be stationery that I constantly use and I know I will probably end up adding bits to that but you always need like tape and I've got tape to put in there as well. And then this is all jewellery equipment that I use a lot. So that's to hand. So that's good. So I've just got to... Mm, yeah. Oh God. That's the floor. Do you want to see how it's going? I mean, I haven't finished. But okay. <sighs> right. That is my suitcase for hospital. I'm not unpacking that. That's packed and it's nearly ready to go. Okay. That's a sheep door stop. This is now where hats, bags and shoes live. 
Isn't that cool? And teddy bears there. That wall, God, we did a bad paint job on that, didn't we? But I'm going to put some random pictures on there. That door fell off earlier, so that was fun. It's a bloody heavy door as well. So, uh, yeah, that was fun getting that one back on. So I'm not hanging coats on the back of the door now because I doubt if it'll take it. Still got to sort out the shelves. But that's going to happen another day. The cushions have all had a wash and um, the sofa has had a vacuum clean down with the new cleaner. I've still got to do the drinks trolley and find places for them, dust all of that, but all of the drawers are done. Underneath, that is packaging and tax return stuff. You know what happens over there. Asmi has found her place. She's nice and cosy next to the radiator. And this is stuff that is things to be listed and in there, and then these things in random trays and that will eventually be on the shelves there, but obviously I need to sort out the shelves first before I can put them on there. And then that, I'm nearly done. I've got to do some listing in a bit, because I still haven't done it. 15 silver necklaces, so I literally just, I created a vague draft, sterling silver necklace, and then um, I'll just fill in all the bits and bobs and do the photographs. But before that, very important, it's time for some food. There's some chicken that, um, I'll turn that up a bit, that um, is left over from yesterday. So I'm gonna have that and some broccoli and some kale. And I've got a pizza base to use before it gets moldy. So I'm gonna have chicken wings and a pizza because I freaking well can. And also because I didn't have any lunch. Oh, well, this is my dinner. Loads of chicken wings boost. Like, it's sort of pizza. It looks a bit weird because, well, when it's kind of a bit around the edges and there's no toppings on it. Um, it's literally just base, some barbecue sauce and mature cheddar cheese because I didn't have any mozzarella. Kale, which is awful as the kale, which is basically just tiny little flakes and some broccoli and some mayo. And I know that's like a weird looking dinner, but hey ho. And I'm watching Carla make waffles. Waffles on the waffle. Fabulous. I've left my coffee over there. One second. You can you can enjoy the the lights of the Texaco garage and stuff. There we go. That's better. Mm. Right. A while ago, I was sent this <laughs> uh, from Sharon. Sharon stay on Instagram yep pretty sure um but yeah she said I wasn't allowed to open it till the first and today is the first so now I get to open it up so um so you can see a little bit better I mean like this is beautiful but I've got a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna hack it <laughs> I'm going to take off the lovely bow and make Azumi wear it. She's like, I don't think so. That's cool. Ooh. It's like Christmas already. Oh, it's a smell. It smells nice. It might just be the wrapping. <laughs> Mm. And look, got a pretty bow on the front. Do I, can I undo this or do I have to cut this tool? I think I can undo it. So it's an advent calendar box, I think, or an advent box. I'm pretty sure that's, oh, look at that on the front. That's a lovely box. Mama want this one. Oh my God, it is as well. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Oh wow. Oh my God, you're crazy. Thank you. Look at all these things. <laughs> oh my God. So I, I opened one day, obviously, because that's how advent calendars work. 
Oh my god, this is so nice. Wow. Oh, right, where's number one? Is that thing? Oh, that smells nice. I know that is. I'm going to sniff like all of them. And Asmi wants to know what they are and if any of these are for her. Something definitely smells nice in here. Oh, I can see number one. Number one, shall we do? It's it's some kind of fluid. What do you think, Asmi? Sniff? Is it for you? I think it's for you? Maybe. Okay, so inside door number one. This is lovely. Oh, we've got a thing. <gasps> oh my God. Amazing. Hair burst, volume and growth elixir. Oh my God, that's fab. Avocado and coconut for all hair types. Multifunctional spray containing ingredient shown to add volume. Sorry, it's, I can read. It's just obviously I'm in poor light here, so it's quite difficult. And to provide fuller looking hair, improved gloss and heat protection. Oh my God, that's lush. Wow. What do you think, Azumi? Azumi says, can she have the box? You can have the box after, yes. When all this is done, this will be your Christmas present and you can sit in the box. How's that? Azumi says, thank you very much. That's absolute, that's wonder. Oh my God. Like, I can't, I can't wait. I wonder what's, where's number, that's number five. There's 21 and three, and these are number, oh, so that's tomorrow's one. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, oh my God, this is so mega exciting. Thank you so much, Sharon. Honestly, like, so generous. This, yeah. Like, it's just lovely. Look at all these. All these nice things. Oh my god. Right. Sniff as me. Is that for you? You've had yours. In fact, you in fact Asmi's finished all of hers already. Because she's a naughty bucket like that. But she's so cute. Honestly, it, like <laughs> just amazing. Thank you so much. I'll um Azumi loves it too. And um I'll show you what I got in number two tomorrow um because I'm, I'm filming filming more tomorrow of me doing the shelves but i'll make sure that i spend time and and show you what i get in tomorrow's bit of calendarness thank you so much Sharon. honestly absolutely amazing <laughs> hello it's cooking with me time we haven't done one of these for a little while so i'm gonna make my apple cinnamon mud, mud cake mug cake now Lee's a German company. They do these so that they can be vegan friendly. So the recipes on, like the, the instructions on the back are so that it can be vegan. So it says pour two tablespoons of oil or 20 ml, um, uh, two tablespoons of like vegetable oil, but I'm using butter because I don't have any vegetable oil and because I don't like it, I prefer butter, um, into a cup and then add 50 ml of soy drink or alternative. I'm using half and half of cream mixed with water. So the same equivalent, but water and cream mixed together um, in a cup. And I've just melted it down. So in the microwave a little bit, just so that it's liquid. Can you just see? So the butter and the cream and water are all emulsified together. And then apparently we just add this, mix it all together. Um, and put in the microwave for two and a half minutes. So I'm gonna give this a go if I can get into it. And it, they, all the packaging is like recyclable or recycled. I mean, as everything should be now anyway, isn't it? So, smells odd. Can't really smell cinnamon in it. Good thing about these mixes is that they mix really, really quickly and really well. So you don't have to mix for long. Just get all the bits off the side and in the middle. Ooh, it's 
smells a bit like porridge actually, you know like, um, oh what's it called, oh so simple, the apple porridge, that's what it smells like. Right, I'll show this in the microwave and get back to you. So I put it in for two and a half minutes and the bottom of it is burnt. It wouldn't come out and I was like, why won't you come out? And you know me, just slide out of this mug, but it's burnt at the bottom. So that's a bit gutting. Um, it smells, I mean, obviously that bit is burnt and there's a little bit of burntness there. And it's very crumbly and it doesn't doesn't smell in any way sweet this is how it looks anyway let's give it a little taste i mean it feels very cakey and stuff mm. Yeah, it's not very sweet at all. I think you could do with some extra erythritol on there. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on some butterscotch sauce and I've also got some custard flavour skinny syrup. So we're going to make this like a proper steam pudding. Let's do this. Okay, now that looks like a big sticky gooey mess. For some reason that's making it like crackle almost. <laughs> Let's give this a go. Mm. Now we're talking. Got a bit of hair. Mm. That's better. You've got nice chunks of apple in this as well. Like dried apple. Mm. That's now quite a nice autumn winter pudding. Mm. So Liz a day one and advent calendars all over. Pretty epic. Right, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to watch something and put my feet up. I would go on the massage chair, but as me still sat on it. I don't know. Um, And then I'll put all this together and... So you can watch it, that's nice. And then I shall see you tomorrow for the sorting of the shells. Can't wait for that one.